Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. My name is Brittany and today I'm bringing you another day in the life vlog. I'm just getting home from the gym. So this morning I woke up, got the kids ready, took them to school, went to the gym and some of my friends from the gym and I went um, over to Starbucks and we got some coffee. Um, this is the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and then I did get some of the sweet um, cold foam on top. It's one of my favorites. So I am just now getting home. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee. I need to get the kitchen cleaned. I need to shower off and get ready for the day. I need to actually finish editing a video and get that scheduled to post and I need to go to Sam's Club uh, pretty much just for dog food. The dogs need more food and there was one other thing and I forgot what I needed. And this afternoon I need to pick up the kids from school and Liam and Mia have a well check appointment and their flu shot appointments so I need to take them to that and also Liam failed his hearing test at school um, on his left ear only so I just thought I would pick up the camera and bring you guys along for this day in the life vlog all right another update it is later I got my editing done which was the main thing on my to-do list um, didn't get a chance to clean up the kitchen yet. Probably gonna have to do that when I get home. Took a shower, got ready. Had to do like my makeup super quick. I just feel like on the days that I have to get a lot done, time just flies and I can't keep up. It is 12.56 and I'm rushing to Sam's Club right now. I don't even have that long because I still have to come home to put any cold stuff away that I happen to get, um, which I'm sure I will. I do every time, like especially fruit. So I'll have to rush home to put all of that away. And I have to get um, forms for the doctor and some of the kids clothes to take back to their dads tonight after their doctor's appointment and then I have to go get in line and I have to be in line like early because I have to pick them up and rush to the doctor because their appointment is shortly after when school gets out at 3 their appointments at 340 um, their doctor's office isn't like far far away but it's far enough away where we're gonna be cutting it close um, it's just going to be a hectic afternoon and I feel very overwhelmed and very anxious. Um, the days keep feeling like they're going by so fast and I just, I can't keep up. Like I, I feel like I'm drowning 90 Eight percent of the time I don't even know why I'm going into this rant right now I just feel like I need to just say like I'm drowning I'm so thankful I'm a stay-at-home mom and that I can take care of my kids in my house and now do YouTube and all of that but I'm still overwhelmed and I'm not gonna feel guilty for feeling overwhelmed Josh just started traveling again for work he's not gone for like super long periods at, at a time usually um, but it's hard being the solo parent for you know a few days to a week at a time and I miss him and it just takes a toll on my mental health and you know he has to work he supports our family he has to travel to work and I have to get used to it but I don't think I'll ever get used to it it's been 10 years of this and I just don't think that I'll ever fully get used to it but it's just it's hard and 
life is going to be so busy. Between October and the end of January, we have so many family birthdays and, you know, holidays. We've got Halloween, we've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas, we have New Year's. Um, there's a lot of things we like to do during the holiday seasons. We have a lot of birthday parties to attend, a lot of Christmas events to attend, and family pictures, and zoo lights, and Thanksgiving, and all this, all great, great stuff. But I just know how busy I'm going to be. And that's when, like, that's when, like, I look at my calendar and I'm like, just trying to to breathe through it all and plan videos for YouTube and make sure I never miss a day like I'm so hard on myself um, when it comes to YouTube like I don't want to ever miss a day I don't care if I'm burnt out I don't care if I'm sick I don't care if Josh is out of town and I'm doing it alone with four kids and four dogs, I just push myself to do it because I'm afraid if I miss just one day, then, then I'm gonna feel like I, I'm failing at doing YouTube. It's silly to say out loud, but I think because I have mental illness, it just eats at me. Um, I'm just so hard on myself and there was a quote on the board at the gym today. They always have really nice quotes and drawings and stuff. Um, but today's was, it just hit me. I can't remember word for word what it says. So I'll include a little picture right here. Um, so you guys can see, but it was just a great quote and it was, you know, about self negative self-talk. Just really hit hit home for me um, because it's talking about negative self-talk and like learning to accept yourself and, and all that. And the coach even said that to A2. She's like, just stop with the ne negative self-talk, um, which is something I'm really working on. I've struggled with it pretty much my whole life and um, I still do, but I am definitely working on it and I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed. I guess like that's like the whole point of this whole rant is that I'm just feeling overwhelmed and I am a little stressed about the kids' appointment today um, just because I don't know how Liam's hearing test is going to go and they have to get flu shots, which I don't know why, but the doctor's office won't let Emma and Ronan get a flu shot even though they're at the same time like they used to be able to do that um but this time they said no only they can only come in for shots on the weekends if they're updated on their appointments which is just silly plus it's the other office that's open on the weekends not the main office that we go to so I'm gonna probably get them into Walmart or Walgreens later this week to get their flu shots um and I have to get one too I get one because uh, really bad asthma especially if I get sick so I always get a flu shot as well so I'll probably just take Emma and Ronan in when I go and get one I just think it's silly that if they're already updated on their well checks um why can't they get the flu shot at the same time like they used to I don't know the pandemic has everything all different all crazy but I'm gonna go ahead and head into Sam's Club I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get in the store just because I am in a rush um because I only have about an hour to go through Sam's Club get what I need go home put it away and then get back to or get in line at the kids school so I don't know how much footage I'm gonna really get in the store but I will definitely show you guys a haul when I get back home all right I got the kids from school they're all in the car. We just got to the doctor and now we're going to go inside. Um, we made it here on time. I was worried we wouldn't, but we made it here um, on time, a little extra time. Hopefully the appointments don't go too long, um, but we're going to go in and see. <laughs>
good day. It's now 544, picked up the kids, went to the doctor, which the doctor worked out so smoothly. Um, Liam passed his hearing test at the doctor. The doctor said it is common for kids to fail the school test if they are common to have allergies, which Liam does suffer from allergies. Um, so he could have been extra stuffy that day and not able to hear or if there was just some fluid in his ear from taking a shower. So, all good things, pass the hearing test, and I just have to take the form to the school tomorrow. And Liam and Mia needed their flu shot, which I think I mentioned. They already got their meningitis last year at last year's well check, um, but they did not get HPV. So today they got their HPV vaccine. And I think I mentioned too, that when I scheduled the appointment, the receptionist said um, we couldn't add Emma and Ronan to get the flu shot, um, even though they both had their well checks. They said they must come in on the weekends on a different appointment. But we've been going there for 12 years now. Um, Liam and Mia were 12 when we started going there when they were born. They'll be 12 um, next week on the 19th. Yay! But, um, we see the same doctor every time and he asked me, he goes, how come the other two aren't scheduled for flu shots? And I said, well, you know, the receptionist said that we had to come in on a different day. And he goes, no, I'm adding them. So, um, which I was so thankful for. So now I don't have to take them separate. I don't need to schedule their appointments. They were able to get their flu shots. Everyone got it done. They were all brave. They did really good. And I had to drop the other three kids off at the other house, their bio dad's house. So they aren't with me now. Um, but I did stop and get Chick-fil-A for Ronan. Ronan did really good getting his flu shot. He didn't cry. He was brave. So he got Chick-fil-A for dinner. Um, today is Monday, which is fasting day for Josh and I. Josh has been eating the chicken skewers from Costco, like they're pre-made. I've showed them a few times before. He eats those on fasting nights. I usually eat um, either like mixed veggies, heated up, sometimes roasted veggies. But for today, I decided to get one of the Kale Crunch salads. It's a side salad from Chick-fil-A. I have no idea how much calories are even in here. Probably not a lot. It's kale and it has some sort of vinaigrette with on it already mixed in. And then it has these roasted almonds separately. These are 60 calories for the package. But I'm going to have that for dinner. And I already had my coffee. I already broke my fast. Um, just in all honesty, it's really hard for me to fast on the days that I go to the gym. Because I get the shakes really easily. And I know that my body needs the fuel. But I'm supposed to try to be good. Um, and I haven't even stepped on the scale in like three weeks. I started... Logging my food again in my fitness pal. I went strong for two weeks and then stopped again and haven't done it since. And then weighing myself on the scale was just stressing me out because I wasn't seeing it go down. Um, I thought maybe it was because I've been working out and gaining muscle, but I just feel blah. When we first got home, we took Winnie on a walk to go around the block and check the mail. Now that it's cooling down here in Arizona, I mean, the daytime, it still gets up to like 88 degrees. It's still pretty warm, especially for being November, but the mornings and the evenings are pretty cool. So I am starting to go on walks more with the dogs. Ronan comes with me. He likes going on walks. Um, usually he has his scooter or his bike, but since I was trying to do it quick because he needed to eat dinner because dinner was sitting on the counter. So we just went on a quick walk. Josh got me um, two new pairs of shoes that I wanted to show you guys. These ones are Reebok Float Ride Energy. These ones are made for um, like CrossFit. I don't do CrossFit, but I do HIIT workouts. That's 
the type of gym I go to, like a boot, boot camp style gym. And I wore these for the first time today. They are so light and are so comfy. Um, I didn't pull the laces through these top ones, but after today they kind of kept coming untied. So I'm going to put it through this other loop. But they are really, really nice. So if you guys do any CrossFit or HIIT style workouts, I highly recommend these. And then here is the second pair, and these are more for running or walking. This is the brand Brooks. I've never heard of this brand before um, Josh told me about them. And these are even more comfier than these for walking. I wore these all day after the gym and they were so comfortable and the bottoms are kind of grippy so kind of would like grip the floor when I walk like when I was in Sam's Club. Really really comfortable. I will see if I can get the link from Josh from bo for both of these in case you guys are in the market for any workout shoes especially with Christmas right around the corner. These would make great gifts. No, I'm not sponsored by any brand. Um, I just like to share good things when I have them. So, highly recommend both of these. And again, I'll try to link them below. I forgot that I needed to give you guys the Sam's Club haul. And um, so, I'm in the garage because I'm going to show you guys the dog food because I don't want to bring it all the way inside because it stays in the garage or in the bin. Um, and then I'll show you guys the rest. This is the dog food that we decided to go with this time. It's the Members Mark Sam's Club brand lamb and rice recipe. I usually get the Members Mark brand or the Kirkland brand whenever I go to Costco. Neither one ever flares up the dogs. They do really good on it. It is decent quality food. Meat is the number one ingredient. There's no byproduct meals, no wheat, no soy, no corn. I also got another pack of these disinfecting wipes. This is also the Members Mark Sam's Club brand. They work just as good as the Clorox or the Lysol wipes. Kills all the same bacteria, but they are a few dollars cheaper. I also got a box of these Members Mark Crab Rangoons. Never had them before. They look delicious on the picture on the box. And I absolutely love crab rangoons. I wanted to pick up the orange chicken, um, but they were completely sold out of it. So I don't know what I'm gonna make with this yet. Maybe Mongolian beef. I do have a good recipe for Mongolian beef. So I might make that this week and serve it with these crab rangoons. I'm sure you guys have heard me rave about the leggings from Sam's Club. I wanted to get these ones. They are textured leggings. Um, they're really thick and feel cozy for the winter season. I can wear them to the gym during the winter. Um, they had this color, like gray and black. They had a teal and black, like a dark teal. And then they had a maroon and black just like these. And these were $12.98, I believe. And I'm not sure how I feel about these yet. They are the brand Social Standard by Sanctuary. They are ankle skinny. I got them in a size 12. They are leather. And when I was trying to open them up on the, at the store, they were like stuck together. So the inside feels soft. It doesn't feel scratchy at all. She's drinking water, if you guys can hear that. She's being loud. Every time I film, they do that. The only thing I'm worried about with these is that I looked at the care instructions and they're dry clean only. I hardly go to the dry cleaners only to take Josh's stuff. I never have anything to dry clean. So depending on the fit, that'll help me decide if I'm going to keep them or not. I forget the price of these. I believe they're around $15. I love when Skinny Pop comes out with their holiday popcorn 
white chocolate peppermint, gingerbread cookie, and snickerdoodle. All three sounds amazing. Each bag is only 110 calories. This whole box of 16 bags was $9.98. This is Special K cereal, which has chocolatey dipped flakes and almonds, which the kids are absolutely going to love. I'm not a big fan of cereal. I don't eat it very often. The kids love it. Um, and since this is Special K, it's probably a little bit healthier than like regular, you know, chocolate flake cereal. Um, this box comes with two bags and it was on sale for $5.91. I did get a clamshell of strawberries. These look fresh. D didn't see any moldy ones. I got some of this honey butter popcorn. Josh has tried it before. He absolutely loves it. So I picked him up another bag. And then I got this Airwick ripe cranberry and currants. Such a seasonal scent. I'm excited to smell it. I they didn't have any like testers on the inside. They on the outside they used to have like where you could scratch and sniff or rub and sniff, and they didn't have it. I did see one of my friend Amber um, from We Are the Westerners on her YouTube channel. She showed a caramel and chocolate, I believe. I did see those at Sam's Club today, but I decided to go with the ripe cranberry and currants. Um, they did have the apple and cinnamon scent as well, which is another good seasonal one, but I am excited to try this one. This is the last thing that I got. We have not tried this before, but it looks so good. I am going to grill it up tomorrow for tacos on Taco Tuesday, and this whole thing, which was 3.24 pounds, was only $12.98 and it's all pre-seasoned and ready to go. I think this will cook perfect on the Blackstone flat top. But that is it for our Sam's Club haul. Here are the pants. I thought I would come and try them on. They fit nicely. Um, I like to wear my pants pretty high-waisted. They fit good. They are true to size. I'm a 12 right now. These are size 12. Um, I just don't know if I like how... You can hear that noise. I have thick thighs, so they rub together when I walk. And these are just like crunchy or crinkly. Like That's the best way that I could describe it. And I do not like how loose it is, like, in the knees. Like, I hate that. I hate when, I don't know if it's coming across good, but I hate when they're loose in the legs and then they get all, you could just tell that they're loose. They're loose in the legs, but they fit fine in, like, my hip area and my bottom area, but my legs, they're, like, a little too loose. So... And since they're dry clean only, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping them or not. Probably returning them. I don't know if I can get over that. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so I cracked open this popcorn. I wanted to try it. I went for the gingerbread cookie. It is so good. You can see all the flavoring in there. You can see Winnie's fat face trying to get it. Josh is sitting right in front of me. He has the white chocolate peppermint. Is that exactly what it's called? Yep. White chocolate peppermint. He don't want to be shown on camera, so I am respecting his privacy. <laughs> he doesn't want to be shown. I don't know why. He just got off work not even that long ago. It's 9.42 right now. Get off work at like what time? 8 30? Something like that, yeah. He said it's gonna be a busy week. So that's my warning that I'm not gonna see him pretty much all week and not even talk to him hardly. He works at home, by the way, but I still don't get to see him even though he works from home. He's always back in his office working. I don't think I'm going to clean the kitchen. I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. It's been on my to-do list all day today, but it's already 
and I didn't cook today, so um, there's only dishes in the sink from the kids' breakfast this morning. So I think those can wait till tomorrow, and I'm going to go to bed because I am exhausted. So I'm going to finish my popcorn and watch some TV and relax and enjoy my time with Josh. Have some intimate time together. No. Bring Chuck. <laughs> World. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, seeing my day in the life vlog. This is like a pretty average day. Obviously, I don't do shopping every day or go to Chick-fil-A every day or get coffee every day. I do go to the gym every day, mostly every day, and spend time with my family. So, this is it. If you guys are new here, my name is Brittany. Probably already said that, but just in case, saying it again. I am a stay-at-home mom of four kids, which you guys saw in this vlog, and four dogs. And on my channel, I like to share day-in-the-life vlogs like this one. And I like to share cleaning motivation, cooking and recipe videos, shopping hauls, pretty much all lifestyle, mom life content. So if you guys like that kind of content, Please hit that red subscribe button. Join my growing YouTube family. I would love to have you guys here. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below so we can chat in the comments. See you guys on the next one. Bye.